All right, guess I'll go ahead and get this started. Uh, if you many of y'all might have seen my shorts yesterday or my other video, I've upgraded. Got me a um, 2022 DRZ 400S. Um, I've been looking for a while to figure out what I really wanted, and this was really fit exactly what I'm trying to do. Because I mean, as you can see, I got plenty of farmland, got cow pastures. As y'all have heard me talk about before, so I wanted something to be able to ride off-road and uh, commute back and forth to work. And with, with me being 200 and, 260 pounds, the little 250 was a great starter bike, but this is fits me a lot better. I can I feel a lot more comfortable on this, taking it on 460 to work. But, um, you know, I'm not out there running interstate, so 55, 60 mile an hour is, is all I needed, but this here will get me out of a pinch because it's got enough power to push me out of the way if I have to get out of a situation and I'm just I don't really care for cruiser bikes I like being able to hit the road I like being able to jump back and ride around the yard because I ride I'll ride around the yard and over in our field uh, more than I do on the road really but um like I said I know people have said certain things to check on these bikes and all of that but um and how they don't like the seat, it's not comfortable, but I mean, I'm not riding far, so it doesn't really bother me. And I'm tickled to death with it. Um, the boy I bought it from, he bought this thing brand new in 2022, obviously. And uh, the only thing he has done to it is change the tail light out. And I I like the fact that that's on there because it looks a lot cleaner. You don't have that big old tail drop thing drop down in the back, but this is what I do not like about it. Um, so I'm gonna fix this. I don't really like the turn signals on it. To me, I want to be seen. So, I mean, it's got a good brake light, a good running light, but um, I'm just gonna buy a set of the turn signals and just mount them back here. They're stock ones, cause I can find them on Amazon. I'm just gonna put them back on it since he didn't have them anymore, but. Like I said, I, I like the tail light. I just, I'll, I'd rather be seen, especially being on 460. But, um, yeah, this bike runs good, rides good. It's got plenty of power to move my fat tail up and down the road. <laughs> and um, I like the fact that it's liquid cooled. It's different. Um, especially with me being in and out of the woods and over in the field and stuff. And I haven't seen it do anything bad about these bikes i've seen they're very very reliable and i keep stuff for a really really long time so i wanted something that was really reliable so like i said this is just kind of the introduction for me to y'all on it um the boy did tell me that the only time it's been dropped he was on a dirt path and he uh met a car on a dry, dirt dry um dirt gravel road and I think it scared him or something, and he he hit the brake and he dumped it. So I got a scratch here, a scratch here. This is bent, that scratched up, and then I got these scratches. That does not bother me one bit. I mean, it's a dirt bike. What do you expect? It's going to get dropped. And uh, so I got some couple things I want to do to it. I'm gonna put obviously have to put the covers on it because I don't want to protect that those magnesium covers i'm gonna put the turn signals on the back um i'm definitely upgrading the, the headlight to an led um i'm definitely gonna put i'm gonna wear them out but i'm definitely gonna put some dot knobbies on here like i got on the other one i'm probably gonna put the battle the uh, bridgestone battle axes on it because i really have enjoyed those tires on my other bike for what i do um and um i don't know there's probably gonna be a couple things i might do the lowering kit on it and lower it down some because i'm six foot tall and i am tiptoed on it and it's cool for riding but when you need to stop <laughs> having your toes on the ground is it feels a lot better having full feet so that i might do that might not we'll see um i've already had my first upgrade got a heavy coffee cup holder up there <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is, like I said, the introduction. I'm just figuring it all out. Um, 
I'm tickled to death with it already. Uh, like I said, a couple changes I will be making, but well, like I said, this is the, for what I wanted. This seemed to fit what I needed and what I liked. And I mean, it's a Jap bike, so I mean, it's better than a China bike, but I'm not knocking them because that's what got me started. So, um, yeah, it got me upgraded to what I really wanted. So, like I said, I'm tickled to death with it. I know this is a long video. If y'all are still watching, I appreciate it. <laughs> but uh, like I said, this is just a long introduction. Um, yeah. So we'll be seeing you in future videos for this as I embark down this journey with this bike. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.